The formation of the first Muslim community at the southern tip of Africa was recorded 300 years ago with the arrival of political exiles from the Southeast Asian islands of Java. Known for their devout beliefs, these early Muslims were pivotal in developing systems of education and contributing to the development of society and the country. In time, Muslims from other regions arrived in South Africa, either as slave laborers, businessmen or migrants, bringing with them their own cultures and experiences, and so contributing to the diversity of the community. In 1979, when the western Bak Shah of Iran was toppled by a mass revolt, Muslims already active in South Africa's anti-apartheid struggle drew inspiration to overcome the oppressive regime. But this development brought with it an Islamic ideology which dated back to the earliest days of Islam, one deeply entrenched in the values, teachings and actions of the family of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. They followed the Jafari school of thought, otherwise known as the Shia. By 1991, these disparate groups had requested an alim be sent to educate and lead them. Still a handful, they met at individual homes or local mosques to engage in weekly halqa sessions or recital of du'as and devotional prayers. The arrival of Sayyid Aftab Haider marked a key step in bringing together the community. Office space was secured at Mavis Road, Rylands Estate, where programs took place. Despite its modest size, the venue hosted local ulama and scholars and encouraged engagement on Islamic theology. With growing interest by the late 1990s, what was now known as the Ahlul Bayt Islamic Centre moved to its current premises on the corner of Ottery and the Vet Roads in Ottery. The new complex, which was an old church, allowed for more activity including regular programs, the weekly Friday Juma'ah prayers, a madrasa or Islamic school, and special programs for women. As freedom of religion was encouraged in South Africa's new democratic landscape, the Ahlul Bayt community too saw an increased interest, not only from fellow Muslims, but also from those who had not been introduced to Islam. The complex also presented a spiritual home for Shia expats from Pakistan, India, Iran, and East Africa, among others. By the 2000s, the demand for a multifaceted facility was obvious, and on 6 June 2013, the foundational steps towards the establishment of the Ahlul Bayt Mosque complex were taken. Four years later, the complex incorporates a mosque, madrasa, library, bookshop, public hall and clinic. Established on a site which was once a community church, the founding stone of that complex laid in September 1922 has been preserved. Guided by the teachings of Imam Ali salam, that people are of two types, either your brothers in faith or your equals in humanity, the Ahlul Bayt Mosque complex is a sanctuary for any God-fearing individual and for those seeking spiritual guidance.